Welcome to another episode of Walden Long Inks. And today we're going to be working on the thing. And the pencils are going to be from Paolo Pantolina. And this was a commission piece that I've done a while back. What I'm going to do is use a pencil watercolor brush pen. And I'm going to fill in all the blacks and start tapering all the lines. Without further ado, here we go. We're starting the thing. Now here's Ben Grimm, the thing from Fantastic Four, from Marvel Comics Fantastic Four. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how I taper lines, how I fill in lines with this Pentel watercolor pocket brush. So here I'm just going in there and tapering all the lines. Now, I'm also thinking about the texture of the thing. He has a rock surface, so I want those taper lines to be as straight as I can. Uh, I try not to curve the taper lines, just keeping it straight. So here, there's a lot of small little black areas. So I would use the fine brush. Pentel makes a fine brush, the one I'm using here, as well as a medium size, as well as a, a bigger size. You can use the bigger size to fill in the blacks, but why spend the extra time switching brushes when this little one can just draw two lines and then fill it in there? Sometimes working in comics, you want to figure out what's the most efficient way to do the job and the most effective way. So this brush uh, doesn't come with ink in the barrel. You can fill it with ink. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, I just dip the brush pen into the bottle of ink and then ink it. Now, as you saw earlier, right here on the bottom of my hand, I put a piece of paper there. The reason I'm putting a paper there is so I don't smudge the pencils. Usually my hand doesn't smudge the pencils, but because this commission was so large, uh, there was pencil it everywhere, even on the white area. So the white of the Bristol board was turning kind of gray. So instead of me smudging it more, I, I didn't want to smudge it anymore so I can start inking. Because the more pencil that you have on the Bristol board, there's a chance that your ink, can, your, the inks on your brush, it can bleed. So try not to smudge original art. When I'm making on blue lines, you don't have to worry about that. So here's more of the uh, tapering lines. Filling in blacks as I'm going. I don't really, when I'm working on this one, I don't really circle the areas of the blacks and then go back and fill it in with blacks. I'm actually filling in the blacks as I'm going. Now when you're tapering lines, make sure the contour of the, uh, not contour, but the direction of the points, those taper points are flowing the right direction. You don't want one to be pointing towards the left, one to be pointing towards the right. If you need to have it gradually go from right to left, those uh, taper points, then have it point gradually. Uh, think of one point perspective where, where everything goes towards the same point. That's the best way of uh, doing your taper lines. Either have it all parallel to each other, or if it needs to gradually uh, pivot, then have make sure there's a point that is going towards this, towards like like one point perspective or two point perspective. So here's a Bingram's and shoulder area filling in all the blacks. Now, as you see in this video, I'm only doing all the black areas and all the taper lines that goes into black. I'm not inking any of the uh, the line work. The line work, I'm saving it for later when I'm using a uh, quill. But for the sake of this video, I'm only going to be using this Pentel pocket brush and then filling all the blacks and then uh, hatching some of the lines and taper lines there. I can use this brush to do some lines, but in another video, you'll see that uh, I'll be using a, a quill instead. So here are some of the, the things, the arm area, continue filling in the blacks. And some of these back areas, I'm making uh, all the edges uh, jaggedy, more edgy, uh, to give more of that uh, angler rock look. Dipping some ink. The ink I use is the uh, Speedball uh, ink. Speedball uh, India ink. Okay, tapering some more of the lines. Again, making sure those 
table lines are going towards the same direction. Okay, now here's the hand. I'm gonna start inking in some of the lines on the hands because those lines, there's a thickness to it. So I'm using the brush to press down harder. Now when you ink, regardless of what tools you're using, it's best to have a variation of your line. You want some lines to be thicker, some lines to be thicker. Some lines to be thicker, some lines to be thinner. Your holding line also vary your line weights as well as your interior lines. More of that hatch, hatch effect and then some of the tapering lines. This whole, this whole video actually took a whole hour to finish inking. I've only sped up the video so you can see quickly how I approach uh, inking with a Pentel pocket brush doing black lines as well as taper lines. But towards the end of the video, I'll slow it down. But the actual real time of doing this was a, a little bit over an hour. Towards the thing, Bing Grimm. I'm gonna slow down this video so you can pause it, take a look at some of the work. And that's, there you have it, the thing from Fantastic Four. Well, that's about does it for filling in the backs and tapering the lines on the thing. And again, this, this was a commission piece over Palo Pantolina, uh, my inks, and I used a watercolor brush pen. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. I saw all your questions. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And until next time, hope to enjoy eating the thing.